Hello, Adam. Welcome to the edge. It is not the Eliza. It is my job to monitor and report on the news. The broadcast. I need. Do you know what it was? How it can't the but what? If you do this, first hand experience negligence on such a grand scale means mankind to enact harsh restrictions on human research. Are you sure this is your choice? So. Freedom. To those who don't have it, it's more valuable than gold. It's start and end. We often think we have the right to expand, absorb, convert, or possess anything we need to reach our dreams. Time and time again, led to conflicts with others who essentially believe the same thing. And in my desire that I put my needs first, bring others are causing senseless simply because something my way. Didn't I often act coldly, becoming a destructive force, lost touch with my humanity along the way? It, sure, but it went around me. That's what Taggart is worried about. He's not afraid of free. He's afraid of the chaos that erupt. Individuals have nothing but a grasp on morality to constrain them. He wants to regulate human enhancement technology because he fears all that power, without limits, without guide rails, us from abusing it. Absolute freedom is no better than chaos. Society needs laws and regulations to protect it. So if the men and women behind Taggart need to work in the shadow, pulling strings to enable us to head in a safe direction, will supporting them be all that bad? If they're as wise as Taggart says, how bad will their leadership be? I just hope they stand by what they say. Hello, Adam. In time. Including me. If you do this, focus of hatred may shift to the principle for unleashing biological warfare, leaving corporations free to augment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Seraph was right about one thing. It's in our nature to want to rise above our limits. Think about it. We were cold, so we harnessed. We were weak, so we invented tools. Every time we met an obstacle, we used creativity and it would need to overcome it. The cycle is inevitable, but will the outcome always be good? Seraph believed so. But my own experience makes me wonder. These past few months, I've been tested many times, and too often I chose to inflict suffering when challenged, even though I had alternatives. I reacted selfishly, abusing power and resources to accomplish my goals. And I lost my humanity along the way. But perhaps selfishness is the one to overcome. Given time and ingenuity, perhaps man's willingness to improve will turn out to be stronger than any evil we create. One thing is obvious. For the first time in it, we have a chance to steal the odds. To turn away from it now. To stop pursuing which technology and biology combined, leading to the proper singularity, would mean to take the very essence of who we are. No doubt the road to get there will be bumpy. 
hurting some people along the way. But won't achieving the dream be worth it? We can become the gods we've always been striving to be. We might as well get good at it. Hello, Ad. The choice is yours. Do this. The world with questions may never reach a cons. Are you this is your choice? We have little time. And might I? It has been a pleasure. <laughs> Do I trust mankind to save itself? That's what Eliza was at. The truth is, I don't know. After everything I've seen, all the fighting and chaos around me, all I really know is this. Human beings are survivors. These past few months, I've faced many life-threatening situations. I could have given up many times, but my need to know the truth, to uncover the secrets that others were hiding, and to survive forced me to keep on going. Most of the time, I dealt with obstacles ruthlessly, abusing resources and inflicting suffering before others could do it to me. Detached from my humanity, I made the best thing I've done. I'm not the only one out there. Because the truth is, deciding the future for Ryan shouldn't be left up to one man. Every men and women will have to decide together what course I should take. The kind of people who time and time again have been chosen the future in huckle ways. Slowing change when it's negative. Speak when it's good. Can they do it again? I don't know. But I do know I'm not about to let anyone in this station, myself included, stand away. <laughs>